2 liter, two liter Aero V uh, VW engine, a flat four air cooled engine with another uh, air cooled uh, four, but one with uh, dual overhead cams and fuel injection. And the idea is uh, better fuel efficiency, more power, and I expect more reliability and less tuning. Uh, and also I'm making a prop change that I think will uh, make for a pretty noticeable advantage unless I uh, <laughs> cut holes in the runway with the tips. Um, so the, the new engine is a Rotax 912 IS Sport which is a uh, fuel injected four that has a reputation of very good uh, fuel efficiency and burns eight, anything from 87 uh, auto gas to 100 LL uh, aviation fuel. The Xenos, if you know the Sonexes at all, they're very simple. There's no compound curvature except the canopy. Um, the designer uh, was committed economically to ribs, exactly the same rib for every airplane, except the jet. Um, and um, so this glider has about twice as much wing area as it should, and the wings are very low. So it, it's a bit of it's a bit of work in a crosswind, but it's um, it's got a pretty good. Uh, glide ratio 24 to 1 with its um, uh, with the, its um, gliding wing tips on. If the tips aren't on, it qualifies as as modest acrobatic. Um, there's a pretty complex video to show somebody trying to get one into a key hanger. <laughs> That's pretty, shows how, how what's wrong with the wings if they're too big. Um, so it has a Probably a 25-year-old, manufactured 25 years ago, a Beetle VW, two-liter flat four air-cooled, that has been re rebuilt with uh, electronic ignition, and most of the other changes you'd make if you were going to convert. So that the VW is a fairly popular engine, but it's carbureted, so it. It is a, and it, it's a little bit of a tuning nightmare. So um, I'm going to replace it um, with a, uh, a Rotax 912 IS Sport, which has a, a, a better consumption, more power, uses regular gas, regular motor, uh, or 100 LL, or super, as you like. Um, and uh, the, the fuel-injected Rotaxes, I, I don't know much about the history of Rotax reliability, except that I, I know a lot about the reliability of two-cycle, of two-stroke motors in, uh, in the hands of dirt bikes of 14-year-olds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I, I imagine that the history of Rotax is littered with seized <coughs> pistons in the two cycles. But I, I don't have any reason, I haven't read anything to suggest that it's, that it's an unreliable motor. And in fact, one of the reasons I'm getting it is because I think it's more reliable than the Beetle. And, and so what I'm going to show is the existing firewall forward on my airplane, and then the motor and the firewall and the propeller of it's going to replace down two or Flow. three feet off off the end. It has um, these titanium rods, which are nice and springy, because eventually it will come down. Titanium. Two systems, redundant systems for the fuel injection, um, and so these huge cables here go to a, the computer, which you mount inside the cockpit, not uh, with the engine. Um, and I've got, so, um, 
overflow, which has to be at a certain height. The tank has to be at a certain height. But what I tried to do on this side here is to use a, a single door to, um, to inspect the, the tank, the oil level, the, the battery and the fuse box by having a door here. Um, we'll see whether that works. Uh, the fuel pumps here, uh, two fuel pumps, the, the fine and the gross filter are here, and there's a gas escalator, but I, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get rid of that because I can see the gas at the bottom of the tank from where I'm sitting, so I'm not sure that checking it in the gas escalator is going to make much difference. So fuel fuel arrives uh, here. Um, uh, the crude filter through the pumps through the fine filter. Here's the the intake fuel intake, and then here's the return since it's fuel injected. It, uses a return system so that the fuel injectors always have whatever fuel they want rather than than you're kind of telling it how much fuel it's going to use. Um, and this this fitting is obviously not what's going to happen but what's happening is the the fuel return will go through the side of the filler and then into the top of the tank with a rigid firewall pass here and then a, a, more, a little more flexible one through the, I think it's a polyethylene oh, yeah. tank. Um, so the return will be behind and below the filler, but only by this much. <clears throat> and the return is bigger, it's an 8, an A and 8, because the flow, the return flow is bigger because of bubbles. <laughs> And not, I don't have it here, but I'm probably going to have to add a, uh, an overpressure uh, thing on the return, which feeds the overpressure into the intake. Because the intake can control what it passes. You know, the, the, the 